Grand Maven Lauren. Well, check Jamie's cat. Make sure they're all right. Yeah, they're all right, Jamie. You're grand. You don't want to come tomorrow night. Got this. No wet fog. See the water in the window. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, we won't worry about that. Not today. Not on a Monday. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. Happy Monday and all that jazz. I hate that term, and all that jazz. I rather and all that shite. Jesus, it's a lovely morning. If you look carefully there, you can see Craig's machine. Now, I'm not showing you that just to say that it's still not working at nine o'clock in the morning. That's not the point. The point is, isn't that a lovely morning? Like the fog is just glorious. It's glorious. Ah! Oh, geez, sorry. Sharp pain in my back. There's the Illuminati there. The trailer. I was badly organised today, so I said I'd go down to Peabay's and get some of their finest and enjoy it while praying to the holy book lawn of Kinney. There's three book lawns up there guarded by the only non-bastard crow is the holy crow the holy crow of Kennedy lives in the bell he lives in the bell there um, and there's the three holy book lawns people come from far and near to pray to them book lawns amazing peewees delish of course the logical next question is what are all these people travelling to Kennedy to pray for is it health happiness love Maybe it's even to pray for someone's damaged, rotten, dirty soul to get into heaven. <laughs> it's none of those things. It's way simpler than that. They're just looking and praying for somewhere to shy. Here's me herd of goats. Well, lads. Some bothered fuckers. Bet you one of their names is Billy. In a group that big, there's always going to be one called Billy. Billy Big Balls. That. I've seen it on the map, but I didn't think it was as much of a drop of 40 or 50 feet. It doesn't come out great there. But I can tell you it's enough to make shite of the machine and myself. So I better be careful. No better book. I just said it warranted a little look from the outside. Nice, isn't it? What are you looking at? Fuck you, Billy! Fuck you! Yeah, fuck, yeah, you keep walking! Keep walking the whole eye! Look at him. Running away, they know who the boss is. <laughs> yeah. Pricks. There's Greg in the distance making money for no apparent reason because he's a ball of it but like me a young man starting out in life a young family trying to make his way in this tough tough hard world raindrops raindrops falling on my machine raindrops keep falling on my windscreen uh, sure it is what it is farmers are crying out for that farmers are crying out for that Nice raid. Jump. Jump. Show me a jump. Show me. Show me. Yeah, that's a really good jump. Jump again. Alright, come on. Jane decided this morning that 5 o'clock was the perfect time to get up and watch in the night garden. Wasn't the funnest morning now for me. She seemed to enjoy it.
Jump. Yes! Jump again. Jump again. One more big jump. One, two, three! Yay! I hate that program. It's the noise. It's the soundtrack of it. It's like piano keys been beaten by. I don't know what. I don't know. I just hate. Now, your mommy's problem. <laughs> Come on, fuck. I have to use the pumps in the back of Emo and they're too fast for little baby bullnose. She can't take it. She keeps gagging on it. Look oh, what? She's going, oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Come on, fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm never going to get to work today. 40 litres. That's just full of fucking bubbles now, that's all that's full of. Oh, Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake. Just have to barely trickle it out. I'm not going to believe this, I am amazed that I get to show you this. The Sleeve Bloom Mountains have always been known as a mystical, magical place. But this takes the biscuit and you get to see it. I get to document this and show you. Just watch this. The herd of goats have magically turned into cows. Yesterday they were goats, now they're cows. So there you go. There's your magic for you. One day goat, next day cow. Maybe it was the rain. Maybe it was the rain and the thunder just cast some sort of a spell on them and now they're cows. Wow. Awesome. And of course there's gonna be the There they are, look. There's gonna be the cynical among everyone that say, oh David, that's just it's just cows. The goats are still there, they're just cows just walking through the wood. Yeah, well that's what they would say. They're the same people that say that there's no Easter bunny or Santa Claus. And you know what them people can do? They can suck my fucking dick. I didn't want it to rain like this. I would have liked it if it got a little bit cooler. <laughs> I didn't want this fucking rain. Fuck the rain! Rain, fuck you! Fuck you, rain! Number one, wondering am I sick? Number one, thanks for your concern. Number two, it's a super question. It's a super question. I'm working on it. I've been going to the doctor and I'm getting tests on. Um, it sounds like I'm caught up. I get hard to breathe. I have an irritable cough that really comes on if I laugh and take deep breaths or do any exercise. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably from carrying them fucking bastards. If you could all do me a favour, a big one now, and stop sending me messages saying, Cuddy, you look bad, and then go to the doctor, just Cuddy, you look tired, just you look shook, you know, may get yourself checked. I fucking know, I look how I feel, and I just, please, stop. Vicky looks through some of my messages sometimes to get through them, and I just don't need that. I'm figuring it out. But, again, thanks for your concern. Shouldn't have been there. I had no business there. So I aborted the mission and got back where I was supposed to be. Sorry about that. Can't be perfect all the time. I'm only, only man like you. See how good you got jumping. Yeah! Awesome! Yeah, you're getting really good. Yes! I can't learn how to jump. I can't learn how You ready for this? Can I go first? Yeah. Sit down for driving. 
Yeah, you Oh, that was crap. Yeah, because it was weird. Who are you blaming? They all, like, they were Yeah, but if you start them off level, it should be fine. Huh? It wasn't great, was it? <laughs> One of them will get down there. I tried this. Come here. You did it! Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready? Same time, same time, same time, same time, same time, same time. Ready? Go! Oh. oh my good work catching up last week out the window. Why? Because I couldn't keep me dick in my trousers with my wife. What do you do? Well, that doesn't mean that I've been at home making sweet love to my wife instead of being on the machine. I'm at home minding the byproduct of our sexual unions. Oh. oh I've never seen them. Just the two. Just the two windmills, that's all. Don't need any more. Two is plenty. Tricky spot now. You have to do what you have to do, don't you? Do, 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 do. Back! You're gonna stop coming out on the road, Greg? Huh? You're gonna stop coming out on the road? Oh, I'm gonna have our lunch. Just my lunch is bleak, boys. Lunch is bleak. Bleak times. Bleak my times, Greg. My lunch is bleak as well. Christ, oh, so, I can't even get my hands around it. Well, I've heard a lot about it and I do want to watch it, but anytime I seem to be watching TV now, it's in the night garden and Teletubbies on repeat, so... Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. I wouldn't have a chance again me because I'm total opposite of immovable. Like Bruce Lee, the great philosopher, actor and athlete said, I'm like water, my friend. Water. See, water is shapeless. Water is formless. Put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put water in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. It can flow, it can crash. Be like, be like water, my friends. Be like. Yes. Yes, I do. We come from a farming background and we were expelled. We were thrown out of the Illuminati for not being good enough at complaining. Haven't said that. Haven't said that. I feel that I have reacquired that skill. I've become quite proficient at complaining. It comes with the territory of being a forward driver. <laughs> Judged. I am. That's my biggest platform. The app sometimes blocks people off it for some reason. I don't know. It's some, I, I've talked about it before. It's David underscore Cuddy. Or maybe it's David just Cuddy. I don't know why my website does that. They are on it. Just when you go onto my website, you have to type in the search bar jackets and then two jackets come up. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I never ever ever get bored. Uh, lonely ways. I don't know about being lonely but you do miss your kids and your family. And you miss out on doing all those things that they do. And you miss out on those important times. But that's a man's job. What I find so amazing about men. I think men don't get the credit they deserve. Yeah, look, there's some bad men out there of course. But most men that get up every day and don't have that time with their kids and don't have that time with their family. But just because we get up every day and don't go, oh, the toss of work in the morning, ah, ah, doesn't mean that we don't want to be at home. It's just that we're all a little bit more conscientious and we know that tough days may come and all this stuff has to be paid for and we just get up and go. That's the sacrifice you make. And we're nearly demonized for it. Not by all women, of course. You know, some women understand, but you know. Come on ladies, if you have a man and you're being hard on him and you think he's working all the time for the fucking piss take of it, this has to be made. Be nice, be nice to men. We need more credit. The game called Anthem and that's crashing maybe 3-4 minutes into the first level and Astro's playroom is crashing all the time as well. Now Batman's working fine, but uh, yeah, anyone have that problem? Or is that me or is that the console? I don't it's a pinky punk. Because the Ninky Nunk is the backing track to my head at this time. 
It's that rattle. No, no, no. God, the people that made that program. I hate you. No idea how you missed it. Maybe it's because you're a stupid asshole. Ah, no, I'm only messing. Um, the video explaining all that um, went up on my Facebook page last night, so you can still see it there. I think I'd rather shake Kenny because I know how the other story ends. Doesn't end well. Today the Vicky's off and I'm off as well. We're just gonna go somewhere for the day with the kids. We're not gonna stay out anywhere. It's too mental right now and with the baby it's just fucking awkward. Um I'm gonna wait until Christmas and gonna take a long Christmas holiday. The only thing that classifies as bogging is if you have to get someone else to pull you out. End of story. That's all there is to it. You need to get help. You know, once I bogged, it was just once, we don't talk about that. Ever. I don't think I was sick. I was no sicker than I have been for the last six weeks, but I was tired. I was really tired. I went to bed early. I do know that. Surely, sexiest dick. Look, it's a, it's a polo. It's a naked big man right there. So, yeah, that is, of course, just. Look at this nasty one. I can tell it's nasty. But people ask my opinion, I give it. You can plan to have the most carefree life in the world. It doesn't matter whether you're a billionaire with no worries whatsoever, but it don't exist. I'm sorry. There is no such thing as a carefree, happy life. It doesn't matter what position you try to get yourself in because no one's immune to it. Wouldn't it be brilliant if some billionaires were immune to it? But everyone you know is going to die, young and old, children, friends, family, brothers, sisters. Uh, nature's trying to get them and will in the end it's gonna get you you're gonna get sick people you know we're gonna get sick shit's gonna happen people are gonna fuck around on you people are gonna hurt your feelings it don't exist it doesn't exist and when it does all go to shit which it will you have to have something that's worthwhile to get up in the morning and stay going for if you think any different you my friend are doomed never sponsor videos I even hate when a video goes a little bit viral or you go onto someone else's page and you get an influx of followers just cause not any shit people don't get your sense of humor it's like report 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 eh, you're a dick you're a dick you're a fuck off cunt I'm not an animal I will get out of the machine I tend to have a bowel movement in the morning and maybe in the evening but if I do get caught short I'll get my baby wipes and I'll take a massive big shine in the middle of the wood and enjoy it I think I've even filmed it just like a six wheeler in any forwarder I don't think they suit our terrain over here and they're very uncomfortable and I rotten I don't hate them um, I don't go to bed at night having nightmares about them but let me think about one when you look at your work through a keyhole every day it's easy to forget how fucking awesome you are at your job but when you look at it from afar it's quite obvious some man some man. I got a little bit wet putting that blue in the van. So it's been the trees now. Thanks a million, Greg, for leaving it out. Appreciate it. Although he puts diesel in it as well. And he pays for it. <laughs> he taxes it. I guess he's just looking after his best man. I am his best man. Over every goddamn penny. Every goddamn penny. Josh. Just before Vicky goes off to work, she likes to sit down and spend the, just a minute with me having a cup of tea. Yeah. Jealous that I'm going to be here all night having a crack. The kiddies. I'm so happy we're going to be making me money. You know what I hate about Vicky working for the HSE? I wish she could come home getting paid with cash so she could hand me the cash. You know, so I could feed it flowing through my palms. And I feel it flows to your bank account, alright. Flows to fucking yours. <laughs> I don't get looking. Bitch. Alright. No. You're a beautiful woman. Go away. Tomorrow's Thursday night. <laughs> it is. I'll probably, probably be like. You don't have to be awake. Oh, you are just disgusting. <laughs> 
love you the most. Bye. Do you want a yogurt? Yes. No. I'm like playing 60 as rule, and I'm not listening to jazz, I'm watching Monsters Inc. By the way. Just, it's a nice change from in the night garden. That is very possible, but not during the summer, because uh, flies don't allow you any time to fuck around when you're having a shit in the open. Not during the summer. No. Yeah, we just pulled the plug. It's not worth it. Hey, Lucy. Um, yeah, even if there's only 1% chance, why would you take it? Just loading up a gorgeous load of two fives, double bay, tipping up the hill. And I see that stick there. I just fell down, hit the track, pushed up all the rest, and it all fell down onto the back. That's just fucking painful. Both of us must feel like we're gonna die today, Greg. I can tell you, we're landed today and you have some fucking air on you. I'm going to turn into a rabbit. <laughs> okay. eat this rabbit food. <laughs> no, you're going to turn into a sexy beast. You oh. already are a sexy beast. Oh, oh, oh. On my snaps, you're the, you're the sex appeal. Yes. Oh, God. All the women love you. I don't blame them. Fuck off. I don't blame them. Fuck off. I don't blame them. I'll have to jump up in the mouth now in a minute. Greg. I'll hit you up in the mouth. <laughs> Not for any. Yeah. Yeah. I've done. I've caught one before. I'm telling you now. Did it help last time you hit me? Yeah, it did. Help you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, now everyone. I'm just. Greg wanted to watch me toss me salad. I think it's done now. Is that enough for you? Don't me. God, a little bit of good news. I was talking to one of the software engineers in Sony and. We diagnosed the problem, went through everything, and technically what's wrong is I'm just unlucky. I'm just unlucky. And if there is a problem, which there isn't, which there isn't, but if there was a problem, it will be sorted out with the next software patch. So, <laughs> what was all that mental strain and stress and personal anguish over? <laughs> over nothing, there's nothing wrong. <sighs> Anyone want to buy a PlayStation? Better. I know, I see it. Oh, nice now. Kiss it better. Vicky didn't go to bed yet today. She's gonna go on all night and an all day, which would be fine. Only, you know, we're drinking a glass of wine and she's gonna be tired, which means tonight when we go to bed, she probably won't be up for a lot. Disappointing and a little bit selfish, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Me and Clark are very disappointed. Are you disappointed? Yeah, we're really disappointed. We um, have come to the conclusion that the PlayStation just does not work. It doesn't work. It crashes on every game. I hate saying it because I love the PlayStation, but that is the biggest pile of shame console that I've ever had to deal with. That's the second one. I like, could I be that lucky? Like tonight, because when I rang them today, they were looking for error codes. I said I wouldn't please them tomorrow when I rang. I'd know all the error codes. And Black Ops crashed after about three minutes. Destiny crashed after about six minutes. Anthem crashed after 46 seconds. Uh, Astro's Playroom, what was it? About, uh, five minutes, was it? Yeah, about five minutes. And, um... It's hard to believe. I even, for a moment, was thinking, maybe they sent me back the same PlayStation. Maybe they've done that. But it's definitely a new PlayStation. It has a different serial number and everything. And even the last two days, I was like, I really, do I want to go down the road? Do I want to go down the road of sending it back again and going through all that rigmarole? And just life's too short. <laughs> life's too short for that. I can't spend all that time on the phone. I was going to sell it. Like today I was thinking of selling it. I was like talking to one of the guys in Sony. He wasn't the main supervisor, but he was one of them. And he was like, oh no, the next um, patch update will fix it. I was like, maybe I'll sell it. 
how do you sell a fucking console that's not working? I'm just gonna, I just want my, I want him to take it back. I think I'm gonna just take it back. I'm gonna be dealing with that. So all in all in my 40 year life, it's probably the worst experience I've had with a game and console. I've never had that kind of shit happen. So yeah, if anyone is thinking of buying a PlayStation, I think again, because in my opinion, I'm going to go Xbox.